Hello, I'm Paul from UTV ATV Rental Laces, and we'd just like to take a moment and say thank you to all our new subscribers to our brand new YouTube channel. We really appreciate it, and we hope to bring you a lot more great videos here as soon as you see the weather breaks. Looking around, we've been hit pretty hard this winter with snow. So today, I'm just going to do a very quick, brief video on one of our pieces of equipment on a safety pre-trip inspection. So basically what you want to do here is stand back and do an overall look. You want to make sure that there is no items that are hanging below. You want to make sure that there's no scratches or bent metal or plastic that's broken. And basically here we want to just walk around want to make sure that standing over here we have no flat tires we want to make sure that our cargo netting or our netting for our sitting capacity is working we want to walk around here just physically checking we have had a lot of instances where we have critters that like to hide underneath in here so you always want to make sure that uh, you check before you, <laughs> you you start driving with one of these back here always make sure your registration and your plates are up to date and here is our quick release fire extinguisher and I'll give you a quick demonstration on this basically it's just there's a pin over here on the side. You pull the pin out and your fire extinguisher is ready to activate. Now, underneath here with this lever, the engine compartment. Now I'm not gonna go into big depth today because this is just a short safety inspection. But basically what you want to look for is anything that might be sticking up and into the into the engine area. You want to make sure that there is uh, no leaking fluids, nothing melting or have melted. Any critters, like I said, that crawl in. Any kind of damage whatsoever out of the ordinary. Put this back down. Now to put this fire extinguisher back on, it's very simple. It just hooks on. And it's back on, ready to go. We highly advise people that have UTVs to get these, especially out in the west here where you have a lot of high grass and if you park and for any length of time you have a hot engine, it's likely to start a fire. And especially in today's world, uh, you people are being held accountable now for the cost of starting wildfires. So we highly advise you to have one of these. Now I'm going to go ahead and actually start it. With this Polaris, you need to turn the key on. You'll hear a buzzing noise for about five seconds. Then you go ahead and start it on. One of the things with Polaris is they're all governed at 20 miles an hour unless you have the seat belts done. So if you only want to enjoy a 20 mile an hour ride, don't put your seat belt on. So we highly advise you always to wear seat belts. Also two helmets and goggles. We always advise high eye protection as well as helmet because these things have been known to roll, especially if you take them off. And we don't recommend heavy-duty four-wheel drive action. Ours are base, basically for the real utility work, support crews for construction as well as infrastructure projects, uh, electricity companies, so on and so forth. Just to offer for two or three man jobs, enough to put some equipment in the back. And uh, so that's basically about it. Uh, 
We hope you enjoyed this video. And please, if you uh, like this video, please subscribe to our channel and ring our bell. And we hope to grow with you. Thank you very much.